Up first this evening, a prime time news exclusive. We have the disturbing details of the moments leading to the death of four year old Nashan Brown. The child was severely beaten by his stepfather at their home in Willardine, St. Catherine. Today, I sat down with the mother of the deceased child, who we will call Rosie. It's not a real name, but because of the feared backlash, she's asked us to conceal her identity. Four-year-old Nashan Brown in happier times. As we prepared to do the interview, we couldn't help but notice his mother going through pictures. It's all she has left of him after his shocking death Sunday. Shocking because she'd hoped to see her only child grow into adulthood. It was just days before the tragedy that they moved to Willardine St. Catherine. According to Rosie, Nashan had been feeling sick from Saturday. I'm simply hurt him, so... We were giving tea and whatever because we figured it was the gas. Fast forward to the fateful day when there was little improvement in Nashan's condition, worsened by the fact he had lost his appetite. Still, Rosie says she encouraged her son to eat. That's when the stepfather intervened. You know, with him for a good while, I, I tell him, say, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. If I eat it, and tell him, say, you know, he might get one whip for you. So when he picked the whip and come in, he said, he fell licking with that, you know, me and I have a done. But this time, that kids them did the outside. So then if them here in that take place, he said, I'm for shut up my mouth. She says it went downhill from there. You beat him once with the stick. How long was that? It was a, what, for two hours or so. So the little boy, basically, he beat him for about two hours, you're saying? Yeah. So he would stop and then go back or? Stop, go back, stop, go back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him, say, no, that is enough, no, we are doing too much. And then whilst he's doing that, Nashan was bawling. Yeah. Was he asking for help? What, what was he saying? Well, he mostly did I say, mommy. And we just stand up, couldn't believe what I may say. Maybe that's why I feel like I feel it because I actually stand up for a while and make that happen to him. But Rosie eventually intervened and paid the price. The bruises on her hand, back and legs tell the tale. Things would eventually settle, she says. The stepfather and the four-year-old retreated to the bathroom when it appeared the child had a seizure. The four-year-old was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Rosie says her boyfriend would use physical punishment in the past to discipline her son, but Sunday's beating was the worst. Would you say that he had an anger? Problem. Yes. In the for controlling anger. Was it, has your son ever expressed that he was afraid of him? Well, him, ever since him, him talked to him rough, like him, like him that say, go and go sit down and talk to him rough. I'm always a say, you don't need to talk to him like that, he must say. You man a girl, you a great man like girl. She insists she's always wanted better for her son, but never had the means to provide him with a good life. Before meeting her boyfriend a few months ago, she didn't have a stable living arrangement. Now she's homeless again and needs help to bury her child. The psychological impact of the incident is also taking a toll. To other women who may be going through a similar situation... Simply your child yourself. Whether you try to forget him or family, just do it yourself. That was, I think that was my mistake. Trying to think that, like when I have the father figure, him get a father figure. If you want to help Rosie, you can call 876 210 5423 or 8- See that topic here, when I have a talk about it's so sensitive and heartbreaking. Look on a little boy here, yeah. four year old. I don't understand how some of the women love man more than the people them. Some are afraid of the man. Them. For you take the man and you don't realize you're afraid of the man because the man is abusive. You don't know that the people them are target. You understand me? Oh, oh some of them are afraid of the man for beating the people. Well, this mother stand up and see the man beat her people for two hours and hear the youth cry out, Mommy, 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 I should not do nothing. So, oh, she's not there in prison. 
You say if I did they, if I did yes in England or America or them place there, should I prison a long time. But no know how some of love man more than a picnic. Oh, some of love man and sacrifice on a youth. Wickedness. And um, some of them um, still there with man with afraid that. We are beat up on a picnic them and can't say nothing. Yo, some of them go in man and act like a mother and stop act like some waste girl man. Yo, I'm sorry for that little boy here. Yeah. Me him soul rest in peace. I barely wait, I just get up, just carry my son to school, all these things. I'm telling you this. You see, like I see a while ago, I run on TV, JRC, when I wish for the seats. When the woman sit down and watch one brutal, terrible, brutal, cannibal man beat her pitney for two hours long, back and forth, back and forth till he's dead. I should have stepped on. I am never nice to him from first, you know. I didn't talk to him, bro. I never have no way to live. I'm the one I see when he grew up. Be How old that? What kind of woman that? I couldn't want right to do man that. We sit down and watch a man beat her picnic for two hours long. I couldn't want right to do man that because she doesn't know where to live. I know you're picking dead, you still don't know where to live. What kind of mother you have? What kind of sense you have? What kind of brain you have, woman? What kind of brain you have to sit down and watch a man beat her picnic for two hours long? And where the man is there? Jamaica, where is he there? And what kind of cruel society? Yo, live at five today. I me say watch and no look and no do so no. I me say JY family, hide up on the mind and come. Grab a seat right now and sit down. The general have some news to go on and see. Watch and no. Wipe off on the mouth. Put on the plate. It's time to listen. And watch and no JY family. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Watch and no. Do so no. Oh. JY family, before we go any further, me I beg on a few minutes. I want to speak on this, but guess what? Me not go bash, you know, me not go talk how me actually feel about this because everybody who subscribed to the channel, you know, yeah, for quite some time now, you guys are supposed to know how me feel when it come to kids, you understand? I'm like, the, a matter of fact, not me. This channel is like the children advocate. Yeah, we advocate for the children them, we look out for them, we concern, we ball over here, so we cry over here, so for the pity them when the things them are going. Now, I just want to give some advice to single men and single women out there, you know, meaning single mother, single father, to be exact. No, don't think that time is running away. Don't think that you need to find yourself in a relationship ASAP as a single mother or a single father. Remember, whenever you have a child, right, or, you know, children in general, mm -hmm. you're not doing this for yourself. You, when, when, whenever you're going into a relationship, you're not going in there for yourself anymore. It's not about you anymore. Well... For the real mother and for the real father, them are only me attacked, only no understand exactly what I mean. You know, it's not that easy again when you and the baby father and the baby mother break up and you say, Oh my god, yo, Jano Star, all right then, I have to move on now. No, it's not easy at all. You have to take time to know the person. You understand? And at the same time, as we mentioned, you have to choose a person now for you and your child. When you're doing this, it's not about monetary gain or anything like that. You know, it's not just about that. You have to choose a, a, a person that is going to respect you, respect your child, and look out for your child like, yo, it's theirs. We now say they must have to go above and beyond like you, but have some form of respect and caringness. You understand in them heart for your child, you know? Because trust me, it's rough out here right now. It's rough. Anytime you and the baby mother and the baby father break up, remember, it's not about the sex. It's not about the the longness of the cucumber, the strength of the cucumber, the weakness of the cucumber, the sweetness of the peaches, you understand the tightness of the peaches, and the list go on and on and on. It's not about the person's beauty, 
cuteness or whatever you understand yeah you have to get somebody that care for you and your child trust me because you can't just allow a man or a woman to come in and take over your child and disrespect them beat them you know yeah and all these things look at this look at this situation hmm? come on now it no matter a fear a fear your horse for the man horse or for the woman horse because woman are do them something here too you know you have some woman coming at the relationship and them set up man by your picnic them trust me it's happening it's not taboo them turn your picnic them in a W H O R E behind your back. So my the woman them um, believe in a, some crazy fantasy them booger you know, children, you know, booger the boys them. Trust me, me I tell you. A crazy, crazy world we live in right now. Me, me I go do a live stream on this because I have so much to say and I want to hear from you guys also. So I go do a live stream. A whole heap of things we have to cover in this video, but we did have to take the time out to just, you know, chew a few words out there. It's not easy being a single mother or a single father. But that no means say you are gonna move desperate. You understand? A lot of times, you know, we start something and we say, Yes, I hate that. I you make some boom and pray. And I say, God, if this is the right person for me. Let it be, so let it be. If it's not, remove he or she. And when you get up a morning, you get all the text, you look here, you not go work. Yeah, man, prayer work sometimes, JY family. Prayer work. So before you know it, right away, a God know exactly, said that person, yeah, him could in a bed, and him this, him take care of you. But guess what? God knows if you ain't come on your, your, your children, you don't be different. You have some man and some woman, they are wolf in sheep clothing. Listen to me, man. Them say, see, see me and live with me are two different things. You have some people treat you good, and when time them reach your yard, I be a good of buff, both you and your picnic. I get it. Trust me. But anyway, JY family, as I say, look out for the live stream. This need to be dealt with because we see we are a lot of men and women you know fall by the wayside plus them kids you understand lose them sanity because guess what them just allow the man to do anything or the woman to do anything because the man has spent money and the man I do this and the woman I do that and she pretty and her front fat and ray 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 it and you name it but Come on, guys. Come on, man. Mm -mm. Wake up, man. You know, the one that hurt me to the core, JY family. May his soul rest in peace. May he get justice. You know, yeah. Both mother and stepfather, two of them. Yeah. Adapt me, say. Yeah, man. Yeah. Last night, I come in off of the road. I think at 10 o'clock news, it was. And me here. Three killed in Ray Town. Police killed three in a Ray Town. Let me show the when I'm show the picture of people. Me I talk, you know, because me not live my life in a fear and me not walk in a fear. Though the road grind me every day, people and leaving your family at home and coming out even with your family, you're not even sure if you ever live to go back in to all the road around. The gun them enough on the road, which everybody know that. And criminals up on the road that traverse to and fro. You don't know what can happen next. But I don't have a problem with police, I don't have a problem with the law, because I'm a law abiding citizen. And the police them, them step up them tempo and them do them work. When I go take side with nobody and say the police corrupt or whatever, that's not my business. They have never dealt with me on that level before, so I don't have a hang up from the system where the police and the soldiers are concerned. 
But those three faces them show up on TV last night with the police killing a raid town. And them robbed me on Harbour Street, right at the old ice factory, and traumatized me youth. Because the brown boy, where you see on the, the, the TV, I am rest the gun angle for my son and put the nozzle on my side. Yeah. He look like him innocent, but when he start talking, you see the killer in him. And people jump up and say, police, this and police, that and police. Kill him in a cold blood. Police know say them do the dirt. Because police smart, you know, and I think the police are fooling you know. him. Sometimes you see a man do things long, 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 and police are report, are tell if you report them, report them, report them, report them. You know the reason why for that? For you keep reporting them, because when them act, them have enough backative to support them action with them do. Police give people a chance to change them full full ways, you know. And police know say you yeah, deal with something called information are coming boy and you know so they come for you yet. A chance and mercy period them are give you you stop doing what you are doing. You know? So when them have to come for you, them really have to come for you. Because you know say you are doing what you are do. Yeah man, I just got make them not kill me the day down 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 Arbor Street there. Right at the top, the last left turn, and the little lane they run cross water lane. Yeah, man, them not innocent. Them robbed me, September the 6th, 2 30. Right at the intersection of uh, Arbor Street and the road, there, the last left turn, I go down there. So, brawling under the cameras, they robbed me. Traumatized me out. Take away my phone, take away the phone, and them call the person to see them want to buy. Take away bike papers and run gone in the direction of Raytown. Raytown. From the bridge side, we come from over south and across the road. Yeah. Good work, police. Keep it up. So, by now, everybody's supposed to hear about the incident happened the other day with a tree boy. You know? Yeah. Three young youth, 19 years old, get slapped by police, slap them with JY family. You know? Yeah, it is alleged that they are criminals. JY family, that is what the gentleman is talking about. Road are black, left, right, and center. Fee the criminal them allegedly. Now, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. So much things going on, you know, our kids is under attack. You understand? By the devil. And we know see no road are black. We're not going to dive too much into that. That video is self explanatory. So, moving on now, JY family. Jamaican farm worker dies in Canada. A Jamaican who was in Canada as a farm worker died recently, the Ministry of Labor and Social Security confirmed on Tuesday. The man, Daniel Brown, was pronounced dead on October 8. In a release today, the ministry advised that the acting chief liaison officer Althea Riley was contacted and advised that Brown had been found unresponsive in his room by one of his co workers. The paramedics were immediately called, and he was pronounced dead, the ministry said. It added that he reportedly returned home from work the previous evening, prepared a meal, and went to bed as usual. After receiving this information, the ministry said senior members of its family services unit and the liaison service met with Brown's next of kin to offer support and provide updates. Subsequently, the team has visited with Mr. Brown's next of kin on several occasions since his passing, the ministry said. According to the release, the ministry has also consistently kept the family updated on matters relating to Mr. Brown's passing and has shared any new information received by the coroner and other entities in Canada as soon as it is received. The ministry extends condolences to Mr. Brown's family and friends and will continue to provide support to the family in their time of bereavement as needed, the release said. Meanwhile, Portfolio Minister Pernell Charles Jr., along with a high-level delegation from his ministry, arrived in Canada on Sunday. In an earlier release, the ministry said the trip's core objective is to engage with officials and key stakeholders pertaining to the farm work program. The minister is expected to journey to several farms to engage in intensive discussions with the farm workers on the ground. January J.Y. family, we did half a highlight, the one the one that's sad. Imagine you left, you know, for the betterment of your family, if you uplift your family, if you motivate the man, if you make some woman give your children a better life, a life that you never get the chance, you understand, if you have. And 
instead of better or worse because this news no money no money even if the government looks a boom i give them a big piece of food that cannot uh, stop the pain that this family is uh, feeling right now everything that they are going through right now nothing can stop it jano star well so far them say them no see no full play so far but investigation ongoing and another thing we have to point out the more the time we highlight the 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 the, the, the bad treatment with the farmer them undergo all right the fall and the fears but wanna hear how much people over there right now many stuff this many stuff that and all type of something they over there right now and they say the mamika massive visit to all of the places them we have the farm workers them you understand so why them say man if he dead for man ban or something drastic if he happen for any action taken Jano my condolences goes out to this gentleman family and I hope and pray that you know the Canadian authority do a thorough investigation into this trust me set a weird jy family another gun attack in saint catherine two killed the police were called to the scene of a double murder in orangefield district saint catherine on monday night two men were found with gunshot wounds to the head after residents reported hearing explosions a video seen by the Loop News team shows the gruesome aftermath of the gun attack, with one of the men's faces almost unrecognizable. Screams can be heard in the background as one woman openly wept, while a pleads with one of the deceased to get up. The men have not yet been named by the police. In recent weeks, there have been several multiple killings in St. Catherine. Early September, there was a triple murder in Waterloo, that was followed by a quadruple murder in Riversdale later that month. Then, at the beginning of October, two people were killed in McCook's pen. More information on the latest double murder later. JY family, me I tell you say, when time the pictures forward last night, me, I feel zoom up the picture as much as it was very hard to look at, me I feel zoom it up and really look if a gunshot. Do the man fear so? Yo, JY family, me a tell you say, my group members, because as usual, once we get the things them, we are gonna forward them in the group. Sometime even before we put them in a vlog, we forward them in the group, and the group members them can talk down in the comment section and can comment. Tell me if we don't get the same reaction. Me a feel looking for something bite up the man them face. Yo, me a say no man, I can't, can't do, do the man them so. I can't eat. It's like the, the gunshot literally eat off the man them face. Like, me don't know if our JY family me no good for gun business. Are, but, but me just feel like it's a high power weapon. Yeah, do the act. One high power weapon do the damage. Yeah, man. I don't know normal gun do them the damage, the JY family. Me, I tell you, say, yo, the, especially, especially the black one over there, so. Yo, the man face bite off like a crocodile, bite up the man face. I saw so the can bite up the man face, JY family. I don't know YouTube rule. But as me say, my group members, I do comment down below, no man, because I don't want to look like, say, I me alone mm -hmm. um, exaggerate or anything. You understand? Yeah, and by the time you know, see this video, the actual video, I got in at the group so you can get a better view of what really took place. But JY family, them mania, them mania have some gun, me I tell you, say, trust me. Me no know, me no know. It's set a way. But, I'm going to leave you know, with that video. I just want you know, to be careful. Mm -hmm. Because the gun them are coming in the country. 
in a all different way. Don't bother make nobody fool you know. I when you know, see they report them about oh we have uh, ten gun, we collect uh, twenty gun, ray ray ray. Trust me, the more gun collect and the more gonna come out because them are forward in the country mm-hmm. in all the different farm in a food in food um shipment um care yeah and the video me above for show no is a care video and on I go see the amount of gun come from all the different compartment of the car. Yo, trust me. But the um, the caption said it's it was heading to Jamaica but um I'm not going to say yes it's Jamaica. I'm not gonna confirm that I don't got any official report on it. I'm just showing you different ways and means of how gun is in is imported into these third world countries and all over the world same way so check out the video please boss a share boss a like group members big up on yourself my broadcast crew long time jy family thank you guys so much for your tremendous support so when i share the video them we have the official report youtube send me on a go on wicked this month to share the video them wicked in our good way, you know, yeah, man. So, we are going to give you know, that in our official report, you see me? So, big up on yourself. Thank you guys so much. Check out the video. Justice for Mario Dean. Is it a cry in vain? His loved ones certainly feel that way after a near 10 year fight for justice. It's very hard on me, the mother, and that's my only son. And to know that I lose him like that, and I can't get any closure. I just want some closure. Closure. You know, just let the thing rest. Let him, let, let him rest in peace. On Friday, Human Rights Lobby Group, Jamaicans for Justice, JFJ, called on the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, to move the Mario Dean case to Kingston amid numerous delays. The mother of the deceased agrees. Since the judge cannot try it and you have to try it and it's sensitive in Montego Bay, why can't you just move it out of Montego Bay to somewhere else, Kingston, another parish or so, where it's not so sensitive? And, and let it go on. There's too much excuse for it. Just keep going back and forth, going back and forth. She says the constant stalling has been frustrating. Every time a court date come around, it, it have a nervous feeling because going through the court, something you know you're going to court. You can't tell the first day you're going to court, nothing. And then sometimes put off for a whole year, which is distressing because you have things to do and then you have to be making sure that you balance your life, that it fits in. And... Mario Dean was beaten to death on August 3, 2014, while in custody at the Barnet Street Police Station in Montego Bay, St. James. He was arrested for possession of a ganja spliff. Incidentally, the call for the matter to be transferred came on the same day stakeholders in the cannabis industry gathered in the parish Mario Dean met his demise. Among them were Rastafari leaders and elders. They said his death and treatment due to his use of ganja is not unfamiliar to their community and said it is a disgrace that nearly 10 years later, the family had not been given closure. I can tell you something. If Mario Dean was from a rich family, the situation would be different. It's natural to our grassroots youth then to have a spliff or to be burning herb. Herb ganja is a part of the Jamaican culture. Once you are placed in a cell, you know they got become the, the responsibility of the government. So the fact that he lost his life being in a cell, it means the government ought to compensate his parents, his family. For you don't know what this youth would come out to be. You don't know what contribution he would have been able to make to his family and his community. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. Sorry, JY family, I couldn't go away and don't highlight this video. I forget to say, I have the report here. Boy, trust me, I have so much report sometimes. <laughs> when me go for vlog, sometimes I not even remember because when I know America full time job. So and when I get the local time, the man think me have to do the video them piece by piece. Sometimes when I hear all different sounds, sometimes I'll 10 different sounds in one video. I understand, I look a piece in the elevator. Look a piece in the bathroom, look a piece in the closet. <laughs> Big up at the cell.
JY family, come on, man, come on. You can't read so far and don't press the like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified. And this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to. Do the right thing, man. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them try clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass.